Welcome, the War Team of Light is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's Peebigy, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peebs. We are talking about the 6.3 live letter and everything juicy that came out of it. In my humble opinion, let's be real. So, we're going to be talking about the big points, we're going to be talking about my favorite points, and some nice little cute tidbits, which you'll see as we get along. So, 6.3. It starts out as expected. Listen, 6.3 comes with new MSQ, comes with zero tanking. Oh, zero tanks! Listen, I honestly thought that that was just a, hey, she can do this while you're in the party support system, so I don't think we're gonna be seeing much more zero paladin idea. It also comes with a new trial, a new dungeon. Uh, one of them is set in Garlemald, so that'll be very interesting. And I believe it is a dungeon. I'm both excited and terrified for that because Garlemald was Garlemald. Now, for those of you who are gluttons for punishment, listen, they've got you hooked up. We've got an Unreal dungeon coming up. We've also got Omega. Okay, this part was kind of fucky. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all are gonna enjoy that. And we've got the new Alliance raid coming in. You posing, you frozy. Listen, this girl's English ain't number one. We're gonna jump back. But we get some cool, gorgeous looking bosses. We've got Helone, which, oh, she's gorgeous. Nofika, which, she, she went viral. Why? Boobs. Boobs. 3.5, it gets extra interesting. We've got our boy Hildy. We've got Hildy weapons. Listen, you throw Hildy at me and I am here for it. We've got a new tribe. We've got the Loperets, which turns out that they are disciples of the hand, one. And two, everything about them is fucking awesome. Like not just a everything. The little stores that they build, Amazing. They're even wearing little t-shirt. Looks like I'm leveling a disciple of the hand. Against my will. Oh, that's cute. 6.35 also brings in a new deep dungeon. So if you remember Palace of the Dead or Heaven on High, that kind of idea, which let me tell you is some legendary level of single player content. Yes, I'm aware you can do it as a group, but it gives you the choice and it's there for fun it's there for cosmetics it is there for you no, no other real reason which i love that and y'all can fight me on this part however but torgost was supposed to be like heaven on high i said it imagine if it was and it stayed cosmetics i think we'd be talking today about how amazing torgast was and i mean they could have done it a couple ways they could have made like hey you need 150 boss heads from killing bosses in this dungeon to get them out people would have farmed the shit out of that oh this other mount drops within they would have farmed the shit out of that you can get this cool sword they would have farmed the shit out of that and they would have loved it same idea. I love the idea of these deep dive dungeons. More great single player content or as a group if you prefer. You'll never see me say, hey, I don't like that. Go for it. Island Sanctuaries are getting a massive upgrade. They're getting a new level. They're getting more items. They are getting a better UI, which I've, I finally reached level 10 on my islands and it's great. It's great casual content that also gets you mounts it's everything we wanted like who am i to complain and on top of that getting more of it hell yes another thing that's coming really soon actually is housing we are getting six new wards with six new districts so i think it was 1800 the math came out to new plots coming listen they are not coming to the servers or the worlds that are underpopulated, so the ones that are not already filled up. However, they're coming to most, meaning housing is coming, more of it, which, yeah, no, hook me up, absolutely. I've got a house, I'm fortunate to have won the lottery at one point. I hope you guys do too. Little tidbit of advice, 
when any new ward has any housing, look for the one with the least amount of votes on it. When these new wards come out, everyone's gunning for the big guy. Everyone's gunning for the medium guys. Go for the little one in Old Da. There might be, what, two people on it? 50-50? Take your chances. I would prefer a house versus no house. That's how I looked at it, and I kept just grabbing. I would go to all the wards and pick the one with the lowest amount of people. But that's how I play that game. Up to you, your house, do what you want. That's how I do it. Crystalline Conflict is getting a new map, which is stunning. However, I'm pretty sure Yoshi P's got a heart on for chaos. Did you see it? I'm going to have some footage of it playing here. That's madness. That is chaos. It looks fun as hell. Mechanics are going to kill you a lot. And I mean, Yoshi P just loves it. It's going to be really fun. I love Crystal Conflict. You can't, like, this is going to be good. Now, for some stupid reason, we're getting another leap of faith. It is... I know. The new one is gorgeous. They actually did some playthrough, which you can watch on screen. And um, it's stunning. Beautiful. However, we learned why Leap of Faith is the absolute worst. Watch that man's face. I am quite surprised he didn't say bad words. They didn't bleep him at any point, and nobody like translated bad words because this girl would have made up her own at that point. Just saying. We are also getting a huge change to the paladin. So, uh, the Paladin right now, a lot of their damage is based on dots. And they kind of don't want that. So they're going to be changing the rotation. They're going to be taking away some dots. And really reworking Paladin A to Z. Now, it's no surprise I'm no big raider. I am no min-maxer. I do not have any of the parsing tools. I don't. Not just like, hey, I totally don't on camera. I actually don't. I don't know what damage I'm doing, nor do I care. So, for some players, this is a huge, great thing. It's gonna make the class feel better for them. For me, I love the Paladin because it's currently fun to play. End point, I just like the way it feels. It's fun. So I'm really hoping that they treat this very gently and they keep the general feel of the Paladin. The Paladin feels like a protector, a fast paced, tank with a lot of mitigation and I like it. So I really hope they don't fuck with it too hard. You know? But either way, it is definitely a possibility and I'm going to be watching it very closely. But to me, that's the biggest. I really hope they don't change too much on it in the feeling way. We'll see. And to me, the biggest point that they dropped, and you'll see why in a moment, and why I saved it for last, FanFest Japan will be taking place at the Tokyo Dome. Now, if your mind is not blown, I invite you to Google the Tokyo Dome. I'll wait. This is fucking huge. This is incredible. This has the potential to beat out records for gaming events. It's that big. People don't understand. A lot of people don't get exactly how big the Tokyo Dome is and what a big deal this is. It's not just uh, Comic-Con. It's big. Like, massive. No wonder they spent so much time on it. They were all over the slides and pretty well dancing in their seats with that kind of news. And it is that kind of newsworthy. So I am... It's going to be big, guys. And I can't wait to see what it ends up looking like. Obviously, I'm going to be trying for FanFest tickets in my region. So either Los Angeles or London. I'm smack middle. 
of both gay. So either way, Japan has got one hell of an event coming, and it is exciting that Final Fantasy is on that kind of stage. So be excited, applaud it, enjoy it, and I'm sure some person in the background is freaking the hell out because their dream of making that game that big is fulfilled. Massive news. So, those are the big points of the live letter. And if you want to watch me react to that stuff, we actually live streamed it. So I'm going to put in one of the cards up above the actual live stream. So again, if you're the type of person who likes to have something on like the screen, just wants to listen through it, you'll have that there. But other than that, it was really good. And it's so glad to watch everyone have so much fun and talk about some really cool things coming. But what are you most excited about? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video and everything I do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe. Listen, I'm not, to, I'm not your mother. Do what you want. Either way, we party a lot here. We do a lot. We do some on Twitch too. Let's, we go nuts. In the meantime, though, have a legendary day. Thanks so much for being here. And I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one. Bye. I told you. Leap of Fate sucks. I told you, we now have unprecedented proof that that Leap of Fate sucks. And poor Yoshi P will never live it down.